Today I'm going to show you how to remove the restrictions of the RPM from the old coil which is 9.5k and replacing it with this coil it doesn't have a restrictor on it. It does involve doing a few other bits first but it's, it's cheap and easy to do. Uh, some people are buying entire adapter plates 460 flywheels, 460 pull starts to achieve essentially the same thing which is kind of pointless when you consider how cheap these engines are. So first of all I'd recommend, you don't have to do this but I would recommend doing it, using some valve grinding paste um, just to dress up the surfaces so they get a good mating point. So we've got to remove the key in order to fit this coil because of the timing is different on the coil so with the engine at top dead center with the piston right at the top we have to advance the flywheel um, obviously we're taking the key out to clear up a common misconception the key is not there to drive the flywheel it shouldn't slip without it this taper is designed to grip so as long as it's fitted properly or the surfaces are addressed nicely and it's fitted properly you shouldn't have any problem with slipping uh, some people think that the key is what drives a flywheel and it, it isn't there, it's just for alignment purposes. So, start off with the coarse side. And put some around the shaft. Again, you don't have to do this, it's just a it's good, good practice. Especially if it, um, it has been slipping in the past and it's picked up. And just work it in like you would valves on a, on a four-stroke engine. Do this for about five minutes. You might want to move over to the, the fine side at the end just to finish it off so you get a nice finish. It'll wipe all that stuff off. You'll then notice once it's uh, been dressed that you get a nice sort of dull grey colour, um, which means it's seated properly to the actual flywheel itself. If there's any light spots or parts that haven't been ground down, that means it isn't being seated properly. So that's ready to fit now. So if you have decided to dress it, make sure it's all clean. Uh, it's common sense, but you can't always rely on that. Um, the next thing to do is make sure the engine is at top dead centre so the piston is as high as it can be and that's with the key weight at 12 o'clock and it's a good idea to mark the front of here so you know where it is because you won't be able to tell once the flywheel's on if it has moved and we slide our flywheel over the top And what we need to do is advance the timing so that's how it would have been with the key in i mean you need to advance it this is just a rough just to get you started two fins so the second fin there has to be at 12 o'clock oh, i forgot to put the coil on so i've fitted the coil now here's a coil that you get off ebay for about seven quid um and as i said before with the engine at top dead center we then advance the flywheel so that second fin so one two is at 12 o'clock and that gets you roughly there but the next sort of fine tuning adjustment you need to do just to make sure it's in the right place is use this line here if you can see it and that line needs to be let's see if I can find a straight edge kind of like that there if you so it's just kind of touching the top of that cap head and that there is the right position for it to be advanced so what I like to do now is just make sure it's seated on there properly get a socket oh, slip you find it does because of the magnets And 
that's pretty well seated on there now. So next up, what we want to do is tighten it up. So first of all, the, the washer goes on, then the spring washer, and then your nut. Now I I would highly recommend using an, an electric impact driver for this because it gets it nice and tight uh, on the highest um, torque set and don't use a pneumatic one because it's too powerful and you'll end up destroying it. Uh, you'll probably end up smashing the flywheel. Um, and then just and then check your lining, your alignment marks. So that's at 12 o'clock. Everything's still in the right place. That's in, in line with that still. Make sure it's seated. So give it another good tap, tap for luck. And I'll whiz it up. And that's pretty much it. It's really that simple. 